Did you ask for this? Did you ask for this? I didn't ask for this. Nobody I know asked for this. Did you must have asked for this. Baby Yoda, did you ask for this? He didn't ask for this. That's right, folks. It's Z with Our Reviews Will Kill You. And I'm here to ask, who asked for this exactly? I, I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to prove my point. I think it's a relevant one. Uh, we're talking about the Flash movie that's coming out. Who knows when? It's been delayed greatly. Directed by Andy Muschietti, who also happened to direct It and It Part 2. I think you'll find this to be... Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to make some points. We'll take a look. We'll break some stuff down for you. And uh, let's go to what we got. What we got here is the Flash set photos reveal. I mean, first of all, they, they revealed um, Keaton on set. So he's I guess he's going to be Batman. We're not 100% sure what his role is. But the real issue I want to talk about is the, the set photos featuring this, this new girl, Sasha Kala. I guess that's her name. I don't know her. Uh, but she's Supergirl and let's take a look Supergirl in her new suit what is the deal here this does not look like Supergirl now I'm not so much where I mean the actress and here's my biggest this, none of this is the actress's fault these are producer decisions or, and wardrobe decisions these are ex studio executives saying there's, this is what they want for this girl. Does this girl look happy to you in these pictures? Does she look like she's, you know, the hope of uh, Krypton and mankind? That's right, baby Yoda. She does not. And, and I just, it's just not a good costume. Like, even when you look at the, the chest, it's two-toned red. You know, the S is one red, and then the shoulders are a different red. The costume is just... Blech. There's obviously there's no cape, but they're gonna put the cape back. I'm sure that's gonna come in through CGI or some nonsense. I, this just does not look good. Um, do not understand. We're not sure, like I said, if it's a flashpoint. We're thinking it is, or you know maybe she's a Crisis on Infinite Earths type Supergirl. Uh, this just this is not Supergirl. Now, and and, and I'm mostly concerned about the costume here, right? Let's take a look at uh, the comic book, Supergirl. So, as you can see, you know, the it's more of like a traditional outfit. It's 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 just different, right? You know, more blue, the skirt. I guess we can't have skirts anymore. I don't know. I don't even care that much about the character. I just don't understand. Uh, my point is more about the production where they're making decisions based on I don't know who they're trying to appease with this. So let's go, it will take a look at, like the CW does a better job. The CW with um, Melissa Benoit or Benoist, whatever her, that girl's name is, like her outfit is a, is better. You know, it's closer. You know, it could still be conservative. Like I, you know, I don't care. But I just think the outfit looks more solid, right? This is just a better looking outfit in general, right? Oh, we don't want to see Captain Marvel. Go away, Captain Marvel. We don't want to talk to you. And uh, and here's here's the crux of my point. This is the girl, the the lead girl, the actress. So her decision on how she would like to be presented to the world is is this. Which picture? Here's the picture I'm looking for. This is her. You think this girl wants to look like this? This is producer decision. This is her decision. She chose her out. You know, I mean, she worked with a designer and her makeup and her hair and her, you know, the whole outfit. You know, look, she's very lovely. I'm sure she's talented. I think she was a daytime actress. And my criticism is not with the actress whatsoever. My point is, this is how she chooses to present herself to the world. And for some reason, the producers decide that she needs to be short haired uh, like kind of like make her look fugly or what you know look at her she this is not i wish i could get get a closer look for you guys but she just doesn't she looks frumpy 
and the outfit like what are these fake these fake abs are ridiculous the whole outfit just makes no freaking sense at all like i just don't get it you know and, and it's not like she's she's especially like a like a big muscular girl but like i just keep going back to this beautiful beautiful actress producer decision let's make her look like this Wh why who is this for what are you what are you doing i just i, I just don't understand hollywood you, you've lost your minds she's this attractive girl that you've turned into wh whatever this is you think you're gonna sell tickets with this you take this beautiful girl and then you turn her into this why whose agenda are you trying to fill i don't know but you're definitely gonna get less eyes on it less people are gonna want to buy this the supergirl just got canceled and that's with the girl who looks the, the closest to the actual Supergirl. So people are going to see this and be like, who is this? Is this Superwoman? Is this Super someone else? We don't know. They're going to have to tell us it's Supergirl because no one's going to know it because the Supergirl we're used to looks like this with the little skirt or looks like one of these. Could look like her. She could do it. This girl could do it. I'm sure she could pull it off. But they chose this. Cause she's supposed to look like a guy i'm not sure i don't know what's going on here someone will have to explain to me maybe you can in the comments below tell me why tell me did you do this because if you wrote in and told them you wanted this for shame <laughs> baby yoda didn't ask for it and he's an expert in hollywood he works there all the time he's got lots of big powerful friends so anyway, uh, tell us what you think. Are you excited for this? Uh, I am definitely, I'm so on the fence because I definitely want to see Keaton back as Batman on some level. Ezra Miller, eh, whatever. But they also cut Ray Fisher, so Ray Fisher's not even going to be in it as Cyborg. Like, this just seems to be getting more troubled and weird as we go on. So anyway, like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, touch our bells and whistles, and uh, own to the next one later.